We described 42 medical specialties in 12 minutes in part 1, but yes, there are more subspecializations. This time, we'll describe 42 additional unique medical paths to help you decide which one is right for you. Dr. Jubal, MedSchoolInsiders.com We're taking a closer look at the subspecialties of surgery, pathology, radiology, and psychiatry, as well as some lesser known and emerging medical career paths at the end of the video. First up is neurosurgery, which deals with the surgical treatment of disorders that affect any part of the nervous system, such as the brain, spinal cord, and peripheral nervous system. It is an extremely difficult career path due to its competitiveness, long hours, and poor work-life balance. Note that neurosurgery can be further broken down into endovascular neurosurgery, pediatric neurosurgery, and more, but we'll save those for another video. Next, orthopedic surgery deals with conditions involving the musculoskeletal system. Orthopedic surgeons use both surgical and non-surgical means to treat musculoskeletal trauma, sports injuries, spine diseases, infections, tumors, degenerative diseases, and congenital disorders. Orthopedic surgery can also be broken down into further subspecialties such as spine, foot and ankle, and more, but we'll save those for another video too. Thoracic surgery involves the surgical treatment of organs inside the thoracic cavity, such as the heart, lungs, and other pleural or mediastinal structures. Colorectal surgery focuses on the surgical treatment of disorders of the rectum, anus, and colon. Endocrine surgery involves the surgical treatment of the endocrine glands, including the thyroid gland, the adrenal glands, the parathyroid glands, glands of the endocrine pancreas, and some neuroendocrine glands. Hepatopancreatobiliary surgery, or HPB, focuses on the surgical treatment of benign and malignant diseases of the liver, biliary system, and pancreas. As the long but simple name suggests, hepato stands for liver, pancreato stands for pancreas, and biliary stands for the biliary system. Transplant surgery involves performing organ transplants such as kidneys, lungs, hearts, and more. Female urology cares for the treatment of conditions like urinary incontinence, overactive bladder, and pelvic organ prolapse. Pediatric surgery focuses on the surgery of fetuses, infants, children, adolescents, and young adults. Fetal surgery focuses on fetuses specifically, which can include treating congenital abnormalities in fetuses who are still in the pregnant uterus. Surgical oncology involves the surgical management of tumors, especially cancerous tumors. This requires a general surgery background, as the focus is on surgical treatments. Breast oncology is the treatment of breast cancer. It is classified as a surgical subspecialty for treatment that may involve the surgical removal of breast tumors, lymph nodes, or entire breasts, also known as mastectomies. Breast oncology does not cover reconstructive surgery, only any necessary removal. Hair transplant surgery focuses on restoring someone's hair by taking follicles from parts of the scalp where hair is growing and grafting it to areas that are thinning or bald. Microsurgery focuses on operating on and repairing nerves, small blood vessels, and tubes using microscopic technology. Procedures include free tissue transfer, replantation, and nerve grafts or transplants. Microsurgery is the stuff of science fiction, as these physicians intricately move nerves and tissues using sophisticated microscopes for procedures like reanimating a face with Bell's palsy. Hand surgery is focused on the diagnosis, treatment, and rehabilitation of hand injuries such as carpal tunnel syndrome and degenerative and rheumatoid arthritis, as well as pathological disorders or trauma that affect the hand and wrist. Most of the time, hand surgery is a fellowship that follows orthopedics or plastics. However, occasionally, hand surgery follows general surgery. Craniofacial surgery involves the surgical correction of extreme facial deformities, facial clefts, and skull abnormalities. Aesthetic or cosmetic surgery is focused on improving a patient's appearance through elective procedures such as facelifts, breast augmentation, and liposuction. Breast reconstruction surgery is the surgical implanting, augmenting, and restructuring of the breast, most often due to cancer. Forensic pathology focuses on determining the cause and possible manner of death by examining a corpse through autopsies and post-mortem examinations. Genetic pathology is dedicated to investigating the genomic basis of disease. Genetic pathologists improve health outcomes for patients by personalizing their medical care. They often deal with rare conditions and must answer complex medical questions. 
Molecular pathology focuses on the study and diagnosis of disease through the examination of molecules, including DNA, RNA, and proteins within organs, tissues, or bodily fluids. Neuropathology is dedicated to the study of diseases of nervous system tissue, typically through small surgical biopsies or whole body autopsies. Diagnostic radiology involves using a range of imaging procedures, like ultrasounds and x-rays, to obtain images of the inside of the body. The diagnostic radiologist then interprets these images to diagnose illness and injury. Interventional radiology is focused on diagnosing and treating illness with minimally invasive procedures such as inserting catheters or wires guided by medical imaging technologies like CTs, magnetic resonance imaging or MRIs, and ultrasounds. Nuclear radiology, sometimes called nuclear medicine radiology, involves using radioactive substances and techniques like scintigraphy to examine, diagnose, and treat patients with chronic or life-threatening conditions. Next, let's look at the subspecialties of psychiatry. Child psychiatry focuses on the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of mental disorders in children, adolescents, and their families. Geriatric psychiatry is at the other end of the age spectrum. It is focused on the study, prevention, and treatment of neurodegenerative diseases, cognitive impairment, and mental disorders in the elderly. Forensic psychiatry deals with treating people with mental health problems who are in prison or a secure hospital. They assess the risk of harm to others as well as the patients themselves. Addiction psychiatry focuses on the evaluation, diagnosis, and treatment of people who have one or more disorders related to addiction such as drugs, alcohol, gambling, sex, or food. Military psychiatry is dedicated to the treatment of military personnel and their family members suffering from mental disorders, both disorders that occur in civilian life as well as those caused by warfare and issues related to military life. Critical care doctors focus on the treatment and support of critically ill or critically injured patients. This often includes trauma victims and those who have multiple organ dysfunction. Hospice and palliative care doctors treat patients who only have a short time left to live. They aim to prevent further discomfort and relieve suffering rather than search for solutions to cure a patient. Geriatric medicine focuses on the unique medical needs of elderly patients, including long-term conditions and vulnerabilities like risk of falls. Medical toxicologists deal with complications from exposure to drugs, chemicals, and biological and radiological agents. This can include chemical exposure, substance abuse, poisoning, drug reactions, overdoses, and industrial accidents. Undersea and hyperbaric medicine focuses on health concerns from exposure to environments with increased ambient pressure, such as in undersea diving or hyperbaric chamber exposure. Radiation oncology deals with the treatment of a number of different cancers by using high-energy particles and waves, like x-rays, to shrink tumors and kill cancer cells. Radiation oncologists determine the amount of radiation given to a patient, as well as the type of radiation therapy required, and they monitor the patient's progress and potential adverse effects during treatment. Longevity medicine focuses on helping patients optimize their health and well-being as they age to achieve a greater health span, the number of healthy years you have left, rather than lifespan alone. They also help prevent or minimize the impact of age-related diseases. Medical science is dedicated to conducting research that enhances our understanding of human health and diseases. Medical scientists explore the causes and progressions of various health conditions to develop effective treatments and preventive measures. Sleep medicine focuses on the study, diagnosis, and therapy of sleep disturbances and disorders such as sleep apnea, narcolepsy, night terrors, and insomnia. This is another growing field of medicine, as more and more people are understanding the connection between our overall health and sleep quality. Aerospace medicine, sometimes called flight medicine, focuses on the research, clinical care, and support of pilots, air crews, and astronauts of air and space vehicles. Thank you all so much for watching. Our So You Want To Be series takes a deep dive into each different medical path you can pursue, and we're always adding more videos to the series. Check out that massive playlist right here, and subscribe to participate in polls and request new video topics. Much love, and I'll see you all there.